Hi, I just want to do a quick tutorial on how to do Distress Ink um, index cards. What I use are these um, 3 inch by 5 inch index cards. Um, they have the lines on them. You can get the blank ones, but um, once you distress them, you don't really see the, um, the lines so much. Um, what I will be using is Tim Holtz Distress Inks. I will be using Walnut Stain and Vintage Photo. So the first thing you want to do is you get your index cards and just crumple it up. Open it up. Crumple it again. You can crumple it. Just look at it, see how you like it. Normally I just crumple it up once and it looks fine. Um, first you want to use the vintage photo. I like to go light then go over with dark. So you're just going to distress your edges. So first I start with the edge. I like to work my, my way um, outside in. It's really just your preference. Some people like to go inside out. Um, Make sure all your corners are out so you can get all the white. And just ink. I go in a circular motion. And you just ink it to, to your liking. This is all about preference. If you like it light, you can go on lightly with their coat. Um, I like mine a little bit dark. Uh, so, just go get my edges. And then I'm going to work my way from the middle. Still going in a circular motion. And sometimes the paper tears. And if that happens, that's okay. Just get your ink. Ink those edges so no white is showing. Gives it more character. So it doesn't bother me. Just inking this to how I, how I like it. Just want to make sure all that color um, of white isn't showing. Okay, so now that I'm done with my vintage photo, I'm going to use Walnut Stain, my darker color, and I'm going to start, smooth this, I'm going to start with my edges and just work my way along the edge. And that's really all I'm doing, I'm just getting this, these edges. If you want, you can go in the middle get some dark spots. I just like to do my edges. Like I said, this is all preference on how you like it. Um, once you get the hang of it, you can do it with any color. You can do um, tattered roses. You can do with black soot. Um, any color. But I always like to get um, colors that are the same. Um, I get a light and then a dark just because I like the way it looks. Oops. Get these edges here. Get this edge. And I'm gonna go in, make sure that if there's any tears that I made sure I got they're no longer any white showing. And there you go. You have it. And so what I like to do after I do my walnut is I like to go back in with my vintage photo to blend all these colors in. Just gives it a more nicer finished look. Doesn't blend like I said, blends these colors in. Blends them together. And there you go. Once it's how you like it, you just flip it over. Same thing, get your vintage photo. Start at the edges. 
go around making sure all the white is gone. As you can see, the edge tore. Not a big deal. Just go over. Gives it a little bit of character. Make sure that you get on. And then, look. Broke off. Oh, well. Like I said, these are supposed to be distressed. So the tears just give it character. So I don't really ever... I mean, if I want it whole, I'm a little bit more gentle on it. But I like having having the tears. I mean, sometimes it tears off like that. Like I said, just gives it some character. Now I'm going to go back in with my walnut stain. And I have my, um, my unlabeled. This one is a brand new one, so I haven't labeled it, but oops, that's okay. Just going to Get the edges. And then like I said, you can always go in with your darker color and give it some darker spots if you want. And I'll just kind of show you what that looks like. I like to, if I do go back with a darker color, I like to lightly go around in circles just so I can get um, the creases here is what um, my darker color will catch on to. If I just go lightly and don't push down so hard, it won't get to the flatter part. As you can see here, With darker you can see how it and then lastly go back in with your lighter color so that you can blend the colors in blend them together and if it looks really dark it's okay because most of the time when the distress ink dry it goes a shade lighter that's what I seem to find happens with mine um, so there you have it a distressed index card and this one here um, I got a baby wipe and I wiped along it. Gives it a little bit more, um, character as you can see. It gives it a little faded kind of color. Um, and then once I do that, I just go in with my blending tool and I blend it once again. And there you go. Normally I don't, um, add water to it. Just not how I really like it, but I just wanted to show that you can. Um, that you can, you can see the difference here. It gives it a more faded, um, a faded look than when it's not squirted with water or wiped with the baby wipe. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe. Thank you.